everyone, in this scene, Mari told Suyeon and Pilsung that she was now dating Dojun. Suyeon and Pilsung were happy with Mari and Dojun's relationship. Only Jin Taek didn't approve of Mari and Dojun's relationship, but he would let their relationship because Mari would look very happy. Then Mija caused another problem. She had trouble sleeping because she really wanted to gamble. Suddenly, she remembered Mary, who was the daughter of a rich family. She met Mary and told Mary that she approved of Mary and Dujun's relationship. Then, she also borrowed $200,000 from Mary on the grounds that she wanted to open a side day's business. Mary transferred $200,000 to Mija and Mija lost control. She went to gambling and she lost all her money while gambling because she lost while gambling. Meanwhile, Jin Taek investigated who Mari sent that much money to and when he found out that Mari sent the money to Dojun's mother, Mija, Jin Taek called Dojun and accused Dojun of working with Mija. She accused Dojun of dating Mari just to suck money from her and he got fired. Dojun really didn't know about this and he apologized to Mari because his mother had deceived her. At the same time, Dosik found out that Mija had deceived Mari, therefore Mija was tried by her three children. Mija was also caught stealing Jiung's grandmother's gold jewelry. When the police came to tell Jiung that it had been found that someone named Baek Mija had pawned Jiung's grandmother's gold jewelry. Now Mija could no longer deny that she had stolen Jiung's grandmother's gold jewelry and had also deceived Mari. Mija was kicked out of Jiung's house and Dozik also no longer felt sorry for Mija. He was also fed up with her. In the end, Jiung gave Dozik $200,000 so that Dozik returned the money to Jintik. Okay everyone, that's the scene this time. Thank you for watching my video.